newsroom for tech and telecom professionals. I'm Jamie Scott Okataya of JSA. We are here at ITW 2016 with my dear friend, Dan Meltzer. He is the Vice President of Sales and Licensing over at Sabi Data Centers. Dan, welcome to JSA TV. Thank you, Jamie. So a lot has been happening over at Sabi. We're talking lots of growth. Can you tell us the latest and greatest, particularly with your Manhattan facility? Certainly. And, and you realize that it was raining for two days, and as soon as I got on JSA TV, the sun came out in Chicago. Oh, hey, you bring the sun. <laughs> <laughs> so there, there is a lot happening in New York. So um, about a year ago, um, maybe a little bit less, we made what we call the pivot. Mm -hmm. So we decided to take the 1.1 million square feet that we thought would be a data center building and turn it into a mixed-use building. Mm. So what we did is we um, actually have glass now, window wall, going from the 31st floor to the 18th floor. Mm. And then we have, we extended that to about 15 for offices. And the great news is that space is either under lease negotiation or LOI. Mm. And that has a great effect on our data, data center business because now we can operate a world-class data center in New York City, in lower Manhattan, um, at a very, very favorable cost basis. So, Now, you don't hear that very often. Let me just say, knowing Manhattan and the data center space, um, key interconnection facilities and, and data center real estate tends to be extremely expensive. So this hybrid solution is really cost effective and networks must love that. Yes, and, and we're really very happy in terms of what we've seen from the pivot. And we still have lots of space. That was one of the, the, the calling that we had. Mm -hmm. um, we have lots of power mm -hmm. um, and we have more and more connectivity coming to the building. So New York is, is happening. New York is happening, you heard it here. So what customers would love this space and power and connectivity? Mm -hmm. So we, um, we just had a conversation last week. I was in Seattle, um, which, by the way, the weather was beautiful in Seattle. See, uh, uh, where he goes, the sun shall shine. Uh, Saturday, I got a sunburn. It was 80 degrees and sunny um, in, in Seattle. Um, so we were talking about verticals. Mm -hmm. And what we decided as a team, and you know, we've seen this, is we're opportunistic. Mm -hmm. So if you look at our customer base across New York, ashburn um, Seattle, Quincy, and Wenatchee, it really is across the board. We have financial services, we have healthcare, we have the big web properties. So we've done a really good job of, of just finding the, the right opportunities. Mm -hmm. um, and you know, as, as much as we like to focus on verticals, I think in the data center business, we're all about being opportunistic. All those high bandwidth networks, come one, come all. Mm -hmm. Sure. <laughs> so looking in your your uh, crystal ball, what can we expect from SABI in the next year? Good question. And we just talked about that too in Seattle. <laughs> so um, it all happens in Seattle. So uh, the first thing you can expect is December of this year, yeah. 2016, we will have our Ashburn Building C, which is our first building on our campus, um, available to our customers, both uh, carriers and data center customers. And this is after owning the land for five years. We began construction in January, and first customer will move in December. And even better, we've decided to expand the two other buildings that we had planned for the campus. So now it will be a 700,000 square foot data center campus right in Ashburn. You heard it here first. Is this an exclusive? This sounds like an uh, exclusive to me. Probably. <laughs> but you heard it here on JSA TV. Noted, right? Noted. <laughs> so for our viewers who I'm sure will be interested, where can they go? So um, first place is um, cbdatacenters.com, and that's S as in Sam, A-B-E-Y, datacenters.com. Um, or you can email me, danm at sabi.com. Dan M at Sabe, S A B E Y dot com. Dan, always a pleasure. You are a dear friend, and I'm so glad you're finally here on JSA TV. What an honor. And thank you, viewers, for tuning in to JSA TV. Happy networking.